Yeah, absolutely, Bryce. Chase Johnson, keep an eye on him tonight. He can really fill it up from three. High-powered offensive threat for the Hatters. And then rebounding, of course, they're going to give up some size to the Jackets. Uh, for the Yellow Jackets, attack inside out. Don't start off with threes unless it's Michael <laughs> Defoe. That's 55% of Jacket scoring that is absent from uh, that ACC tournament championship team. Devoe, a little bit of range, nothing but net. Go off the bounce, uh, very creative offensively. Only two assists in the opener. I'd like to see him get the, his teammates a little more involved tonight. Inside to Rodney Howard. He had a big game on Tuesday, registering a double-double. But they'll go to Jordan Usher. He returned and making his presence felt early here in this game. Putting on a clinic. Yeah, great recognition on the poor closeout defensively. DeVoe taking the rack. Chris pass and a lay-in. And one. Count it. To lead more into the basket. That was a great vision there from Michael DeVoe. Time to earn an extra. And you, you have to love to see that as a coaching staff. Two on two, game start of it, takes it. Looks for the pass, but was denied. Has to kick it back out to DeVoe. DeVoe, a little fade away. Sinks it. Michael DeVoe good with the mid-range. Tag back on the offensive attack now. Howard at the elbow inside to DeVoe with a right hand and one. And he puts the foul on number two, Perry. It's a big source of offense, like we talked about in the opening. Little step back from Swenson and he sinks it. Tough shot, but converted it. The terminology, the pace of play. Unless you're a Chris Bosch or a Stephon Marbury, <laughs> there's usually a learning curve in there. No learning curve for Daquan Smith as he puts down a two-handed jam. The Hatter's looking for a bucket somewhere. Turnover. Usher, two on one. Moore lays it in. Textbook two on one offense right there. Swenson getting ready to check in, inside to Saba, little up and under. You know, rebounding, defensive presence, run the floor, set good screens. It's really about knowing your role, and, and they run so much offense through the high post. The ability to have assists. <laughs> They've had three, three uh, first team all a Sun players in the freshman class. You see it paid off right there, great ball movement leads to a corner three. Trailing it by 13, looking for some consistency on offense as Swenson has it. Working against Kelly, takes it with a left hand. That's a veteran move there by Swenson. Coleman with the ball right here in front of the Stetson bench. Inside to Smith, who rises up but is denied underneath. A big time block there by Valdez. Double digit lead. Sturdivant working his way inside and one. Going up against the towers up there underneath. Playing actively defensively. The scramble on the floor, turnover in favor of the Jackets. Going high as Usher. The crowd got to their feet. They thought there was going to be a slam, but easy glass work for Jordan Usher. All the way around, Howard deflects it. Once again, Rodney Howard making his presence felt on the defensive end. Here comes DeVoe into Howard. Defense into offense. Patience has been something that is the biggest change for me. Wide open once again. Coleman making a pay. John, you pointed it out. That's four or five times down the court. And Debo knocked it down. Looked pretty on that one. Debo's converted two from that same spot. Johnston answers with one over the top of Debo. Perry had Chase Johnson wide open on the left wing. Looked him off. Had a good shot himself. Couldn't convert. Defoe working the high post. For both of those guys, State of Florida rich in high school talent. As Valdez finds himself an open lane, that's about as easy of a look he'll get all night. Highly talented in their own right, and a big reason why Stetson has high hopes for this season is Chase Johnson. Going underneath, working inside. Good job, Josh Smith, the 6'8 sophomore. As Valdez works it inside. Smith against Saba. Good move inside for the easy lay-in. And he still stays in all of his players' lives to this day. Attends weddings, makes phone calls. I wasn't even an NBA guy. I, I talk to Coach Kremens five, six times a year. Just picks up the phone. Quick trigger three. No good for Stetson. See if Georgia Tech can take advantage with the number four. In white, Jordan Usher getting ahead of the pack. We're going to get Sturdivant. 
Stetson trying to find something. Desperation three, and it goes. Sternman working it over to the left side. Coleman with a deep three, sinks it. Debo Coleman having a coming out party here in Atlanta. Group of freshmen, so that's a sign of a program turning and catching a little lightning in a bottle on the tournament success. Johnson had numbers. They're going to go inside. They tried the three-pointer no good, but now a three-point opportunity. Coleman working. Going inside, using that size. Smith can't quite get it. And here comes Johnston once again, one-on-one -on -one with the left hand. Johnston, we've seen him run out of break twice now. This time he opts for the layup. Dave Arm was cutting to the basket. It was just a miscommunication. Uh, sure. A little mid-range, short range, that is, and he sinks it. See how they score their points and take that away, and he's done that tonight with the Jackets' defense. Jones deep from three. We talked about it. The turnover on the other end turns into a three-pointer. Now we got a 12-point ball game. Stavo thought about pulling the three. Coleman thought about it as well. He's been hot. Instead, they'll come in the corner. Davon Smith said, you two pass on it, I'll take it from the corner. Devo working. Little stop. No good. Usher puts it back up. Second chance effort, and Jordan Usher lets the crowd know it. Jones working kick out once again. The extra pass. Big man three. Little stretch four option there as Josh Smith pops out and hits the three pointer. But I can do it better. Knocking the three down. Sounded nice, too. Kelly just near the logo. No good on the three-pointer by Lamar, who checked in recently. Now Davon Smith in transition, weaving in and out, and lays it in. Has been able to cut it to a manageable deficit several times. But turnovers have hurt him. Valdez inside, and a big slam. Two-handed jam. Coleman unleashes from deep, and he is on fire right now. Yeah, and it's not that he had a bad game on the opener or a quiet game, but it looks like he's found his groove. He's got some confidence. He has his legs. I think so he he's huh? found his legs. You saw a collective gas from the crowd. Smith goes up, and he finishes it. it was a big lead. Cut down to 16. Start of it running now. Trying to weave his way inside. Has DeVoe straight on three. Good. <laughs> Nothing but net. The largest lead was 20, about four minutes to go in the first half. Oh, that's wide open. We've seen that a couple times, though, John. After a, maybe it feels a little bit slight about all those teams. Maybe they didn't give them good luck. Georgia Tech sure has as Coleman tries another three little heat check. But it's Khalid Moore underneath who puts it in. Now being guarded closely. Starting to try and regather himself. Goes with a left hand. Nice little speed burst around the left side, able to get the basket. Oh, absolutely. You're going to have turnovers. There's going to be the unforced errors. Johnson takes it to the rack. Um, so that's why film, days off, resting the body, working with your assistants on those days off, <laughs> giving it to DeVoe on your off days. That's some defense from Howard underneath. DeVoe trying to once again, he'll take it to the rack, throws it off the glass. Usher cleans it up. Oh, you see Josh Smith underneath for Stetson. He's been... Pretty good offensively and defensively as he takes it to the rack and a good move past Mecca for an easy layup. He's got one to his credit already, so you see the game continue to evolve in that category. Big men shooting threes. Kelly with a second chance opportunity and converts. They obviously going to renew clean old-fashioned hate against Georgia later on in the month of November. The Hatters running once again. Easy back at basket there for Cook. But the degree is worth it. That's why they're in school. Student athletes. Moore with a little razzle dazzle going from the left to the right hand for an easy bucket. Here comes Moore in transition. Going one on one with a left hand. The freshmen have come to play. Yeah. Smith. Oh! <laughs> he wanted it, but he goes with a right hand, little reverse action. Tax on an extra bucket. Football weekend here on the campus of Georgia Tech. The Boston College Eagles in town for a 3.30 kickoff. I'm sure coach would like to have a guy like Mecca in the pads. <laughs> well, the athleticism of Georgia Tech overcomes Stetson.